Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling and welcome back to my channel. So, a few weeks ago I uploaded a drugstore starter kit and everyone loved the video. Thanks so much for the feedback. I love you guys. But then you guys also all wanted a high-end starter kit and honestly I don't know why this idea never really crossed my mind because, I mean, if you're going to start shopping for nice makeup, you need somewhere to begin and you might not know where to begin. So I'm here to tell you guys the like top 10 high-end starter kit makeup products. If you guys are new to my channel, then be sure to hit that subscribe button right down there. It's like either on this side or the side, I don't really know, but just be sure to hit it. I upload videos all the time and you guys will love my content. So be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get on to the video. The first thing is foundation. And this foundation I've talked about in like a few videos, but every time I talk about it, I rave about it. So I'm sure you guys already know what it is. It's the Dior Skin Air Flash Foundation. This is like the best foundation I have ever used in my life. It just looks so good. If you guys can't tell, it's a little too light for me right now. So A, I need to get a darker shade, and B, this is so expensive, um, but it's worth it. Like I limit myself to use it because it is so expensive. I don't want to use it all up. It is a beautiful coverage. It's full coverage, and it doesn't get cakey, which is the best part. The best way that I use this, I know a lot of people like don't really know how to use it. So the best thing to do is shake it up and then like spray it. Like seriously, like see how far away from my face I am? Like that far away. Like get really up in there and like spray it on and then buff it in with like a beauty blender or a stippling brush and then a beauty blender. I always recommend using this with a beauty blender just so that it doesn't cake. And every time I wear this, I get compliments. Like people will literally say that my skin looks like a doll. It's really good. I think it's like $65. So it's a lot. But it's like, if you're gonna go big, like go big or go home. Like you need this in your life. Save up and get it. Cause like you absolutely need it. Concealer, I think everyone kinda could see this one coming, but it's Tarte Shape Tape. The reason why this concealer is so good is because you can really pile it on and it doesn't get cakey and it feels really lightweight on the skin. And something else that's important, it doesn't crease. I don't know why I couldn't think of the words right there. It doesn't crease. Um, so like you could, Totally wear this without powder and you'd be good. Powders, I bet you guys thought I was gonna say like the Laura Mercier translucent powder for baking. No, I didn't say that because the RC Mano color powder, which is a drugstore affordable kind of price point, um, is the best baking powder ever. So I'm not saying that. I'm actually gonna say, my hair's a mess. That's what I'm gonna say. The Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder Foundation is really bomb and I use this as a powder to like set my foundation and stuff. This is really nice because it's super full coverage but it again does not get cakey. It has a really good color range of warms, neutrals, cools which is important when you're looking for a powder. Um, it also comes with a mirror and a little sponge compartment. I never use this but if you're like on the go or um, you're on the go, you can, you know, do this throughout the day and blot yourself. You can kind of use this as like a two for one. If one day you just want like a little, little something on, you just throw this all over your face because it is a powder foundation. But it also gives you coverage and it keeps it looking good. You know, you know, you know, you know. I'm sure everyone and their mother can guess what I'm going to say for bronzer. It's Benefit Hoola. This is just the best thing ever. Like literally ever. I've gone through so many of these. This is what mine currently looks like. It's there just so... But, um, this is really good because it's a great neutral bronzer shade. It warms up the skin and it doesn't make it look muddy. It's not orange. I'm wearing it today. It's just a very pretty sheen. Not sheen. It's not a sheen at all. It's a really pretty color on the skin. For blush, this is like absolutely no questions asked. They completely slay the game in their blushes and it's the Becca blushes. Who thought I was going to say the Tarte blushes? <laughs> no, the Becca blushes are where it's at, girl. Um, Becca blushes are so great. This one is in the shade Snapdragon. I'm wearing it today. Can you tell? It's really cute. These are the best because they are uber pigmented, like ridiculously pigmented. They also apply really smooth on the skin and they aren't like splotchy, you know? So when you put them on with your brush and it's not like you have a clump right here and you have to like kind of buff it out and then it looks sort of weird. They just flow really, really naturally on your skin and they look really good. Um, and like the, they don't have too many colors of these as much as that kind of sucks, but the colors that they do have are like good colors that everyone can use and everyone can wear. Highlight is like, 
uh, there's so many to choose from but for me on an everyday basis this is the highlighter that I always find myself reaching towards and no matter like no matter what look when in doubt I know that this highlighter will look good and it will like show up and it will perform this is the Laura Geller highlighter in Gilded Honey doesn't have to be in this shade. She also has one in Charming Pink, which I have, and she has a few others. I think she has like a peach one. Anyway, this is just the one that I'm wearing right now on my cheeks. So if you guys can tell, it has a really good glow to it, and it can be like that Instagram glow if you guys want it, and it can also be a super subtle glow as well. So you have a lot of options with this. I kind of have like a medium, like I have the Instagram thing, but then it's also kind of a little subtle, you know? It's just a little like, ooh. There, there's my cheekbones. It's really great. It's super pigmented and it's a great formula. Um, if you guys watched my Sephora try on haul fail video, then you guys know that I hate when highlighters show up when you turn to the side. But if I'm looking at you dead on, I shouldn't see, if it's not glowing, I shouldn't be able to see where your highlighter is. You know, I don't want to see landing strips on your face of highlighter. This, even though it's a darker color and even though it gives you a great glow, when I look like I'm looking at my monitor right here. When I look dead on at myself, I can't see like where my highlighter has been placed. It just blends into the skin and then you turn to the side and then you see the glow that it gives, which for me is the perfect highlighter. For eyebrow products, I think there's seriously only one brand that takes the cake and it's Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is my favorite product of hers. It's her Brow Wiz. Um, it's like OG, but it's really, really good. I used to use the dip brow for a long time, but I kind of think everyone now is like over the dip brow and like over the dramatic brows. I just really like this because, again, great color range and the product is really creamy and you can just easily blend it out because it has a spoolie and it blends out beautifully. It just buffs well into the skin. Like, see, I just blended it out a little bit. It just, it, <laughs> see, see what I did? Not much to say about it. Really like it. Best eyeshadow palette that you could buy from high end. Okay, this was so difficult for me to choose. I'm not talking single eyeshadows, I'm talking a palette. And this was the one that was my fave, the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, whereas a British YouTuber would say Renaissance palette because I like how British YouTubers sound. This one is really great because it has everything. Um, you have your neutrals, over here like look at that beautiful neutral okay I'm covering this up too beautiful neutral palette so you have your neutrals your warms you could do a smoky look you have this right here which you know if you put like a black liner underneath of it it's gonna look black for a smoky eye and then you have great highlighter shades this is like seriously like the best highlighter shade ever you have a beautiful golden color as well and it's just so good. You have a matte shade, you have your transition shades, you have your warm shades, you have neutrals, you have colors. Like you have everything in this palette. For eyeliner, I only chose one and that's a gel liner because you can use this on your upper lash line and on your waterline and it stays on all day. And it's the Tarte Tartus Gel Liner. I'm wearing it today, top and bottom, and it just performs really well. It comes with a brush and I love that brush. It's like the best gel liner brush Ever. So Tarte, really good job on that. Like, you killed it. Um, and it's a really good product. I love it. Not much to say. It's black, dries matte, stays on all day. Seems pretty water resistant to me. Mascara? Um, let's see. Who would have thought that I would say Too Faced better than sex? I swear to God, like, my forehead is literally labeled. I like Benefit Hula Bronzer and Too Faced better than sex mascara. That's what my tattoo on my forehead says. Right there. Um, I showed you guys both of them. Uh, I ran out of the big one, so Too Faced. Hit me up. So I just have this baby one that I'm living off of. I have three more baby sizes of these. Downstairs is my purse. I literally don't go anywhere without this mascara. But they also have a waterproof formula, which is so dope. Um, this, like, is hard to get off. So if you really want, like, a heavy-duty waterproof mascara, this is the one. And then the last product is lips. And I didn't want to do, like, lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss, liquid, you know, whatever, all this stuff. I just wanted to pick a solid product that I know a ton of you guys love, and it's a liquid lipstick. Um, and this brand just creates the best liquid lipstick formulas, and no one really knows. So it's Smashbox. They really have the best formula ever for liquid lips. 
and they have a great color selection. I mean, look at this. Like, this is like me. This is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Chill Zone. This is a really great formula because it's thin on the lips. That was one swipe. I should probably show you guys on camera so you guys don't not believe me. All right, well, that sucked because I had a vein in the way. I'll do it right here where I have no veins. <sighs> Ta-da! It's very pigmented. It's really, really lightweight. You only need one swipe to cover your lip completely. It's very opaque. It's a really good formula. Like I said, it just stays on all day. It's just the best. Go get it. So yeah, that is it for the starter makeup kit. I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more videos, you're in luck. My last video is right here. And then also if you guys want to see that liquid lipstick in action, I have a tutorial using it right here. So be sure to check that out. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!